Hello farmers, welcome back to SnowRunner. That's right, I said farmers because today we're going to be planting and harvesting potatoes. I want to um, get that potato delivery done. And in order to do so, I need to redo this field as I did. Uh, I don't know how many episodes it would be now at this point. Maybe like, uh, maybe 10 episodes ago we harvested potatoes in this field. And I took them somewhere and I was taking the wrong potatoes and I deleted them. So now we got to make some more. So we're going to come over to here and attach the cultivator. I'm trying to remember when I go in the field, does this automatically lower? Is that what happened? Yes, it does. Perfect. So we'll get around, get the field cultivated, seed the potatoes, harvest the potatoes, and then bring them where they need to be brought into, I hope. So I reconfigured our tractor over for a three-point leakage in the back. I did bring over two more bales of hay, and it did count it towards the other job where I got to bring six over. So I got four of six hay bales on a job I didn't really accept yet, or I have accepted it, but that's not the one I was focusing on. And I still got four more to bring over of the four for the job I was trying to do. So there's that. This is bouncy, bouncy. How about if I put in low plus? Is that going to be better for me? Possibly. Uh, I am noticing, though, I am going through the fuel on this tractor quite a bit. Come on, turn. There we go. I kind of want to stay in the field. So I retook this job so we can get the potatoes in. A lot of jobs still to do here on the Crossroads. I think that's where we are. Crossroads, right? Not Heartlands. Yeah, Crossroads. Yep, okay. Want to make sure I got that correct. So I did notice in the last couple of episodes of Snow Runner when I was talking about farming here, some people were like, I didn't know there was farming in Snow Runner. So I figured, you know what? Let's uh, put the hay baling to the side and we'll get over here and do some farming going to use that term a little bit loosely though already 34 percent cultivated yeah so i came over with since i was already over here with the royal bm i thought well is there potatoes can i just take potatoes and no it shows done in stock so yeah we got to replant potatoes and hopefully come on turn 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 and hopefully uh, get those delivered over to the railroad I just got to pay attention because some are seed potatoes and some are potatoes now I don't remember with the planter do I have to get seeds for it or is it just gonna be like automatic I don't remember it's been way too long but we're gonna find out here very shortly Yeah, so if you're kind of new to Central Asia and the crossroads and the heartlands, yeah, just be careful what you're doing with deliveries because some are going to ask for seed potatoes and some are going to ask for potatoes. And they kind of look, well, I think they look the same to me in the cargo area. So be kind of careful what you're grabbing. Got to watch out for the scarecrow in the middle of the field. I think I'm probably going to have to go and fuel up my tractor or bring a trailer down here to fuel up. Because I think I'm going to burn through all the fuel before we get this job done. Not this particular job, but harvesting the potatoes. Probably should be just going up and down the field at this point. It's not like Farming Simulator where I can raise and lower the implement. It's going to be down no matter what until I leave the field. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting with that hay contract that I was doing. 
it just showed me, you know, deliver four bales of hay, you know, showing me all the bales. I'm like, okay, I'll go pick up these over here. But I, I guess those bales are for the other field, which, or, or the other job, which was kind of weird because the job I was doing says uh, deliver four bales, and it was four bales in that field. Well, either way, those are delivered for the other job, so I got four out of six. When I do take that job, I just got two more to bring. And there's some more other jobs I was kind of interested in doing today if I didn't want to do farming. Uh, apparently, we can get a service station up and running on the back side of the map. So we got where the garage is on one side, and I can get a repair shop, I think, on the other side. I just got to bring some materials over, and it'll be a repair shop. So I think we're going to be in the crossroads for a little bit. We were on the Heartlands for a little bit, but now I think we're going to be back on the crossroads. There are other regions here in Central Asia, but I really haven't gotten to them. I think I've scouted a little bit in the other regions, but not really like the map itself. We just kind of went there. I'm like, oh yeah, here's the map. And then uh, that was it. And that's probably where my scout vehicle is, I would assume. I'm going to be lucky if I can plant the field with the amount of fuel that we're going through. Come on, turn. One thing I've always uh, talked about in Stormrunner as well is my turning radius doesn't seem as good as it should be. And I got my wheel all the way over. When I had the tractor in the shop, switching it back from the, the grabber, over to the three-point linkage, I was looking at some customizations I could do to the tractor, and I was looking at the different tires, and these tires look like they would be the best, as I knock down the Scarecrow. Come on, switch over to 100%, no, you're going to make me go around to get one more percent, of course you are. Uh, these tires look to be the best. I know there was someone before telling me which tires I should and shouldn't use. Because they're, they, you know, they said they were experienced. And from what they were telling me before, they seemed to be uh, pretty accurate what they were saying. But these tires here look pretty aggressive for dirt. Alright, so 100% done. So it says stage complete. That's what we want to see. Alright, let's go get the planter. I parked right there. Yeah, at first I thought I could just come right back into the field because I'd done it once before and plant, but I had to go and accept a job once again. And if you're wondering where to accept a job, it's right where the Royal BM is. So it's one of those jobs you can continue on doing. Detached trailer. Give me 50 acres and I'll turn this thing around. That's the way it feels. I wonder if uh, the old farmer that did this, or the previous farmer, I shouldn't say old, was using that tractor over there. So do I need to go get seed for this? I don't remember. Not like it shows me the capacity of the drill. 
and what's in there. So I'm going to assume it's going to be like the cultivator. I'm just going to get in there. It's just, just going to start planting. That's the way it looks like it's going to be. Yep, and we're planting. The one thing with uh, the Corvettes, I think that's the name of the tractor. I, of course, was at the garage and drove up here, and I used 20% of my fuel just to get back up here. Now, I think that's a like a water tanker that's in front of us, so that's not going to help me on out. I'm going to do what I do in farming sim sometimes when you got a terrible turning radius. Just do a certain part of the field, make a wide turn. Yeah, so I'm either going to have to bring a fuel tanker down or reset the Corvettes back to the shop and drive it back up here and complete the job. I might just bring a fuel tanker over here because if I gotta do this job enough times, it might be better just to go ahead and bring the fuel tanker down because that way I could get the job done over and over and over. Once we get the field completed by planting potatoes, it goes directly over to a harvest stage. So it's not like I got to advance a couple days for the potatoes to switch over. So it looks like each pass I'm doing is about 10%. There are a number of fields that we can plant in, so I'm not sure if they result all the same way or is a different field going to give me like different type of potatoes. So I'm lucky if I'll be able to finish planting the field with the fuel that we got. Actually, I wonder where my... No, I'm going to need the trailer on the Taga for later for other jobs. So maybe I'll just get like another truck. Maybe I have another truck in store just down to the garage and head over to the trailer shop and bring down a fuel tanker. I would love to be able to finish planting this field with the fuel that I got. I only got about three more minutes worth of fuel though. the best driving in the world but the way the roads are in this field is kind of steering my tractor on its own and 
to get three more passes in before I run out of fuel. the way oh no the rain's coming can't farm in the rain i wonder if i can harvest in the rain in <laughs> snow runner i'm guessing i can i don't think they've gone that far with it Seventeen liters of fuel left. But as we know, trying to get the last two or three liters out with the engine running at full power, actually I'm kind of losing power now. Alright, so probably what I'll do is I'll just teleport the Royal BM back to the garage. That way I'm down there. And I'll bring back a fuel tanker. Roll BM, there we go. And then we'll just do the easy thing, which is recover. Leave garage. Uh, that's the wrong button. Where is the trailer shop here? There is one here, right? I don't remember now. There's the gas station. That's not going to help me out. I need... I don't remember where the trailer shop is. If there is one. Ah, trailer store. Right here. I had the Royal BM here. I could have just drove over here. Now on the Royal BM is down here. Uh, Alright, so <laughs> it's not where I remember where it was. Should have checked first. But that's fine. Uh, I'll just, uh, just head all the way back and get ourselves a fuel tanker. So, how close is the uh, trailer store from the field? Well, you're about to find out. Not that far. I just made it a lot longer by recovering the Royal BM. Royal BM does not like asphalt for some reason. At least the tires don't. Um, so yeah, here's the field right here. So, <laughs> just around the corner. I thought the uh, trailer store was down by the garage. And the Royal BM seems extremely bouncy today. Let's go fuel up our tractor. No crop destruction, at least as far as I know. And I did fast forward it to the morning once again because uh, it was getting rather dark coming back up with the Royal BM. All right, let's go ahead and we want to refuel. Uh, target should be... Okay, source, let's get the trailer and then the target needs to be... Yep. Is it Kirovets? Maybe it's Kirovets. I've been saying Corvettes, but I think it might be Kirovets. Either way. Let's get this off the field. And we'll park this kind of out of the way over here. Uh, I've been parking. i got a lot of stuff to park here, so I'm just trying to figure out where the best place to put it. We'll just leave it attached to the Royal BM for now, I think. Alright, back into this beast. 
There we go. Now we got some fuel. And now we should be able to finish up planting our potatoes. Turn this around. And one more pass. Should do it, but the question is where? You can see here mostly is an empty area. I just don't remember what happens after I harvest, so I gotta get the potatoes out of the harvester and in, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out here very shortly. Hundred percent? No, not a hundred percent. Okay. No, let's not tip over the tractor, please. Come on, get up the hill. I'm in the ditch. Just gotta find one more percent. Maybe it's right here on the corner or not oh there we go magically it just uh, completes it all right we're gonna bring this over and just yeah we'll park it somewhere <laughs> I need a parking lot over here Right here would be good, I think. All right, detach. And this is where you accept a job to plant potatoes in this field. Looks like I attach. Should be right there. Actually, you know what? Let's keep backing on up, I think. Time to harvest these taters that we just planted 30 seconds ago. And hopefully we can get the potatoes that we need. And if so, we should just be able to drive up with the Royal BM over here to the platform. This time I'll pay attention to which potatoes I'm actually loading. And we'll get them delivered to the right spot. Get myself a little bit of a thumbnail. Which you've already seen, I would assume. So I think with the rest of the hay bales I gotta do, I'm probably just gonna use the Taga and the crane on that. It was kind of fun using the, I think it was more like a log grab with the Kiro vets here. But you can use it to pick up the bales. Come on. Come on. Get up that hill. No, you're not going to. Roll down a little bit. Oh. 
don't get stuck in that tree. All right, so the potatoes are actually going onto the ground. So I kind of forgot. Do I got to go around? I forgot what we did. Or do they just magically go into the cargo? Probably making some mashed potatoes right now. That's a lot of potatoes. So at least in Snow Runner, you can harvest in the rain. I'm not doing the straightest lines here. Now there are other cultivators and planters on the map. I don't know if they're all the same and it's just giving me multiple ones to use. Don't go down in the ditch. Stay up here. Maybe I should put on different tires on this tractor because even in the field, it doesn't seem to turn the greatest. So even though <laughs> even though the tires look very aggressive, they just don't seem to grab that well. And I still would like to know why once in a while in SnowRunner, when you're on flat ground like that, the engine just cuts out. camera collision and, and I was asked uh, in it well another episode uh, don't use any mods currently so everything you see that I'm using is base game well, the DLCs, of course. Uh, this map, I believe, is in the Season 3 pass. Okay. Two-thirds of the way there in harvesting. I'm thinking when I get done harvesting, the potatoes just disappear off the field and they go over into cargo. I was like, why am I going faster there? Because I got an automatic now. That's why. At least the rain has stopped. Actually, it might be also a wise idea to get on the other maps, or the region of this map, scouted, because I might find some more upgrades. And maybe that'll help me out with some of the equipment around here. Oh, I just realized this says sample fielder. So are these going to be the sample potatoes? Well, either way, I think I get paid and get given XP for doing the field again.
Well done. Harvesting complete. The greens are being packed as we speak. So 300 XP, 50 bucks. Woo. Bring in that cash. All right, uh, let's park this uh, down here with the rest of the equipment, I suppose. All right, might as well detach the harvester. And let's turn off this engine here. Uh, if I change trucks from here, am I close enough to that Royal BM? No, I am not. I can't even click on the Royal BM. Oh, there it was. Uh, let's detach. How much fuel do I got in here? I got plenty, actually. Right, let's go over and see. Because it says uh, it was being packed. So let's see what it packed. Did it pack sample potatoes or regular potatoes? Because I don't remember. So this is where we load on up. Cargo management. Potatoes. Cargo left too. So hang on a second. Let me back up here. And I believe this is where this job is. Show task. Uh, start tracking. Potatoes 2. Alright, let's go forward and grab these taters that we just harvested. Alright, and if I remember, we're bringing them like over here somewhere. Yeah, right over here. So not too far. Uh, let me just go ahead and mark the way just so I remember... I think that's good enough for me. Well, let's go get these uh, fresh potatoes that we just harvested over to the rail, uh, railway. Take it easy here. Don't need to be getting this far and rolling over. Let's turn off all-wheel drive because we're on asphalt now. Gotta remember the trailer store is in the middle of this map. So this map here is pretty accessible for most uh, of your vehicle repairs because you got the garage at one end, you got the trailer store that's in the middle of the map, so you can always just get yourself a service trailer and repair your vehicle right there. And down here by the railroads, there's going to be a service area that we can, I do believe, build. So many places to service your equipment. Now, they definitely changed something, I believe, in SnowRunner because used to be driving this fast on asphalt, I would damage my truck here and there. But now, I I don't want to say I, 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 it's not going to happen, but they made it less frequent, at least that much, I know. Or I'm just getting really lucky. This is all we got to do with the taters. Fifty XP and thirty-five hundred. Well done here. So now it's, it says, uh, let's see, let's see. That's a bit of this and a bit of that delivered to the village. Household supplies with a trailer. Delivered to the village for consumables. Well, technically I'm here. I could load those up and bring two on down. Uh, I think that's the trailer you'd want me to use. Household supplies. All right, so I got to bring that trailer. So, and we're just going there. Well, we can kind of do a little bit of a twofer.
Uh, let's see here. Household. Not sorry. We need uh, consumables. I thought I was going to end the episode right there. We're doing potatoes. But now I just see we can get a lot of this job done. We're already here. And it's not going to be that far. Let's turn around and we'll get most of this job done. Then it's got to, you know, get two more um, consumables that we just picked up. Let's not run into any poles here. Somewhere in there. I think it's just a regular trailer, so it should hitch on up to the Royal BM. Attach that on up. And bingo was his name, oh. Can I make that corner? Just barely. Now let's get back out to the main road. Alright, so where am I going with this? All right, so we're going to hightail it on down to here, but then go this way. And by the time I get that far, it should be showing me on the screen where I need to go. My wheel drive is off. I'm guessing when I put a trailer on the Royal BM, it may lift it like the front axle off the ground a little bit, so maybe that's why. Maybe don't have a lot of good grip on the front. And maybe that's why it makes the Royal BM swerve everywhere. Boy, you look at the trailer, <laughs> now it's swerving back there. You swear I'm driving on an icy roads. Yeah, the car goes fine. Try and tell me the speed limit on this road is uh, 50 kilometers an hour. So it's going to be pretty easy to go back and get two more boxes of consumables. Okay, let's get rid of this cargo first. And then am I just dropping off? You're going to just take the trailer or... Or how does that work? Okay, so it took off the trailer, but I still got the trailer. And the trailer didn't disappear. I think what we'll do is we're just going to leave the trailer parked right here. And when we begin next episode, we'll be uh, coming back with the other 
consumables and we'll see uh, what I need to do with this trailer. Because I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll have to deliver it somewhere else. Just have a quick look on the map here. Uh, I'm not too sure. But we will find out next time. But we got some farming done today. Got the potatoes uh, harvested and brought over to the railway. And now we're taking care of this little village over here. We got some consumables to get them started. Uh, that should be good for them for about a week until we can come back to the next episode. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner. But until then... Have a good one.